So we're going to uh, be reading from the Earth Gospel, a lovely book by Sam Hamilton Poor, which we highly recommend. Today we're doing a morning prayer for Wednesday of week three. And after a moment of quiet, I'll begin with an opening from Psalm 84. The sparrow herself finds a home and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Reading from Job chapter 12. But ask the animals and they will teach you, the birds of the air and they will tell you. Ask the plants of the earth and they will teach you and the fish of the sea will declare to you. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of every human being. Holy wisdom, holy word. Go ahead, Barbara. Another voice is from On Fly Fishing by Richard D. Adams. There is the pressure of water on your legs as you wade the stream. There are all the subtle smells, the aroma of water itself, and then the smell of the emerging trees and shrubs. Then come the sounds, the bird song and occasional drumming of a grouse and sometimes the call of a turkey. Added to this is the sound of the wind in the pine branches. Finally, there are the sights, the glint of sun on the water, a thousand dancing diamonds. Somehow when you are in the water, animals don't recognize you as a person. You wade past deer lying along the bank without spooking them. You can touch your, their nose with the end of your rod. Nature is not tame. My Pennsylvania woods are populated with two varieties of poisonous snakes. That adds a dimension of danger. I suspect that God is not tame or entirely safe. Thank you. Let's take two minutes to reflect on these two readings in silence. As we move into prayer, we recall to mind all those who suffer this day, especially our sisters and brothers in places where there's war, especially Ukraine, 
but all other places where there's fighting today. And we pray for the poorest and most vulnerable in all of our communities and for those who care for them. Go ahead, Michaela. Greater God, breathing your own life into being, you gave us the gift of life. You placed us on this earth with its minerals and waters, flowers and fruits, living creatures of grace and beauty. You gave us the care of the earth. <clears throat> Teach us, creator God of love, that the earth and all its fullness is yours. The world and all who dwell in it call us yet again to safeguard the gift of life. Amen. Amen. And a blessing for today. May you experience today both the wideness and the wildness of God's grace in sun and sky, wind and water, animal and plant, and in the drumming of your own heart. Amen.